Have you ever actually read this card? This card's crazy. What's going on you guys? Slim here today, back with a new deck profile for you guys. And what I got for you guys is my updated pure Zodiac deck profile for this new December 2020 format. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. You guys will be notified whenever I upload. You also be notified when I stream over on Twitch. Your boy is back on Twitch, so definitely check that out. Links in the description below. We'll be streaming actually uh, pretty much uh, every day, at least three days a week. So definitely check that out. If you guys want to build this deck yourself, consider using my TCG player link uh, in the description below. A portion of what you spend will go back to the channel. It helps me out and I really do appreciate appreciate it i now have a new discord server as well link is in the description as with everything definitely consider joining it you guys it's a lot of fun your boy finally got with the times and made a discord so hop in there we have a really good time over there especially during the streams so definitely uh consider joining today really cool community that we're going to build together over there and last but not least if you guys want to further support the channel you guys already know how you guys can do that uh joining my patreon uh, links in the description four different tiers nothing over ten dollars a bunch of awesome rewards over there now i'm just going to hop into it you guys Zoo had a huge, huge turnout at LCS9, and then it just, yeah, it it didn't make it very far. It did not make top 16. Uh, Apollo was the only one using the Zodiac cards uh, in his uh, Zodiac Eldledge Dogmatica deck, but do not let that... Uh, you know, one tournament indicate that Zoo is not a good deck. Had a huge representation. I think the deck is very strong still. I think there's a lot of things they can do. I want to give a shout out to Pac as well as some of the other players who have been topping the LCSs and talking about Zoo a lot. I learned a lot by watching their profiles and I learned a lot uh, of changes that I can make to this pure Zoo deck uh, to really just give it more oomph against this current format. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Smash that like button if you do. We'll get into it. Uh, of course, we'll start with the Zodiac cards. Of course, you've got the one rat, triple copies of the Whiptail, along with the triple copies of the Thoroughblade and the three copies of Ram Ram. So this zoo lineup has not changed. Uh, there's nothing really I would change in here. I noticed since Paulo was playing the the, uh, the Eldritch and the Dogmatica cards, I believe he played Bunny Blast. Uh, I haven't tested that yet in Pure Zoo. In Pure Zoo, I believe these 10 zoo monsters are all you really need. So it's very, very strong, especially when you have, of course, your triple copies of Tanky and your Barrage as your other zoo cards. I don't really need to discuss these. You already know this card is broken. But uh, these 10 zoos, nothing has changed with them. I'm a huge fan of Thoroughblade. A lot of times opening Thoroughblade plus Ram Ram is crazy. Like, obviously, you know, you take a risk doing it. But uh, if your opponent's not playing cards like Ogre or anything like that, being able to get the Ram Ram in Grave and then draw a fresh card is crazy. So I really, really like that. Also, the beat stick ability of the Thoroughblade is important as well as being able to attach the Whip Tails for more damage and removal. So this Zoo lineup hasn't changed. I'm not going to explain anything else. Only card I'm not playing uh, for Rat is Combo. I just don't really like that card. It just doesn't come up for me, so I chose not to play it. Uh, that's it for the zoo section the hand traps this is the all-star right here and this i owe to uh the previous lcs lcs number eight as well as pac uh talking about this in his profile you would think that dimension shifter only works in decks like grand maju let me tell you this card has one job and one job only skip the opponent's turn and guess what happens when you do that in a zoo deck when you skip their turn and then you go you make a borbo you attack directly guess what that means kids you get to play zeus on top of it and it's pretty crazy uh not only that this card is actually insane the fact that it can end turns the fact that so many decks struggle against it is crazy one of the few decks that can actually utilize it and i'm really happy that you know the multiple players brought this to the forefront it definitely made me want to make changes to my deck so i I definitely wanted to try it out i like it a lot along with the rest of the hand traps it's very standard it's your nibiru it's your ash and probably the only card that's different from some of these lists that i play i am still playing three valor along with the three imperm so i don't really need to discuss really any of this i'll get to i'll get to these last two because ash and nibiru uh, the dimension shifter obviously is just crazy in this deck we already talked about it but i want to talk about these real quick so imperm real quick for you guys uh there's been a big debate about the effectiveness of imperm this format and a lot of people are saying the card sucks because it's not great against eldlich it's not great against uh you know it's not great against virtual world but i can tell you right now because of drytrons because of what jesse brought to the forefront by main decking vanity's ruler if you're not playing this card you don't have an out and you know what that means you lose so this card is very very strong i like it a lot and even though it's not the best hand trap of the format 
uh, it's definitely something I would still play. Now, if you guys are looking for a budget option, your budget option would be Valor, but I am playing Valor in the main deck. You could just play any other hand trap that you want. I am a huge fan of Skullmeister. I'm also a huge fan of DD Crow, this format. So either of those cards are very cheap alternatives in case you guys are looking for budget alternatives. Uh, and Valor. So I'm still playing Valor. Now, I understand that the problem with this card is it has to go to the graveyard. So if you draw a shifter in this, it kind of sucks. That's why Pac was playing the uh, the Mourner, I believe. Uh, the Ghost Mourner. I, I just chose not to play that. I wanted to still play Valor because uh, I'm still working it in with the Selene Access Code combo. Now, uh, again, I don't have that card, so it's something I need to test a little more. I liked Valor also because it is more of kind of like a budget option for you guys, as well as that you can use multiple in a turn. And honestly, you're not always going to open Shifter, but if I open Shifter, obviously I'm going to Shifter them so that I can turn off their turn. And then Valor does have some synergy later on with, of course, the extra deck. But that's the reason behind all these hand traps. They're all very good. Zoo plays a very high head trap count of 15 or more so that you know you can just stop your opponent and then just borbo and zeus them so nothing's changed there power spells are still the exact same we're still playing desires and the reborn uh, no pot of avarice obviously not only because of shifter but i'll be honest with you guys the card just it very it, was, it really underperformed for me like i felt like a lot of times like once i already got to zoo combo and i got to zeus the game was pretty much over like the avarice didn't really do anything for me desires was just to help to get me that plus one but again you can play that card if you want if you're not playing the uh, impermanences, you don't want to play any other hand traps, by all means, you can play the Pot of Avarice. But for me, these four spells were perfect. I wouldn't really change anything when it comes to these. Obviously, to get the plus one, and obviously, because Monster Reborn helps you keep going. Uh, you can debate the Monster Reborn with the Dimension Shifter, but remember that Shifter is insane, but it's not the main focus of the deck. It's just highlighting the fact that you can play Shifter in this type of deck. And the last but not least, I have the traps. So I like this entire trap lineup. Triple Strike triple ice dragons prison and the hot spice of it all really is the macrocosmos like yo like i saw this in the lcs 8 list and i was like this this is crazy so obviously this is if you go first you know you set up your play then you macrocosmos the opponent and how many decks struggle against macrocosmos is crazy i know that's just a one of so you know you might draw it you might not but those games you do this this card is ignorant so it's crazy strike is absolutely insane strike plus zeus is game against pretty much any deck and ice dragons prison now it is isn't good against Drytron because they can't be special summoned. However, it's very good in a lot of other matchups. Dragoon is on the rise again. Just look at the top 16 list. There's so many Dragoon floating around. You need to have an out to Dragoon, and this is one of the best outs. It's just a very strong card. Also very good against dinosaurs, even though they weren't in high representation. Don't sleep on any of the decks you didn't see in the top 16 cut. They'll definitely still be around. They'll decks you'll play in Swiss. They'll decks you'll play online. They'll decks you'll play in remote duels. Be prepared, and this is honestly one of the best cards. And I never thought I'd have to say this, so unfortunately this is a very expensive card now so people are asking me what would my alternative to this be and to be honest i really wasn't prepared for an alternative but as far as ice dragons prisons go there's really no card that really does what it does in this format but to me if you want to play something else i guess like you can play and people have talked about torrential people have talked about other traps people have talked about you know just trying to tech the deck out with other cards like you could play solemn judgment you could play other cards like that but personally it's very hard to find a replacement for this card i really like it a lot but if you don't have access to it uh you can definitely just put maybe more hand traps or another like trap card like torrential torrential seeing a lot of play now so it's just a card i would talk about torrential needle ceiling any of those board uh clearing cards are very strong so but that is it for the main deck you guys it's a clean 40 cards as always and then last but not least we're going to just go into our extra deck real, real quick to wrap up the pro file so pure zoo is very standard and this the extra deck is extremely standard i think it's my exact extra deck from before uh double chalk and nine double uh tiger mortar double borbo uh the one trident uh, the one hammer kong that's all the zoo cards um now again this is pure zoo uh you can up the counts of chalk and nine and tiger mortar if need be i just wanted to include some other cards so i haven't done that yet but if you guys know pure zoo better than me and probably a lot of you do i think you can include extra zoo names and it's just as strong if not more effective than what i have here but very standard zoo list this card is asinine uh yeah uh this deck plays it the best what can i say this deck plays it the best this, this card is crazy man like like i said to be in the video you actually read this card i don't know i don't, I don't know I, I just don't know i don't know what they were thinking with that card that card is absolutely crazy uh we still got the vespinato that card is just very strong for uh you know just running over crap and then you know zeus in and uh you know stuff like that you know if you i'd rather go zeus and vespinato but i like having the versatility of going either or so that's always cool 
And then this card, uh, this card's retarded. A lot of people actually can't like out it. So this card is actually crazy. So I like this card a lot. Um, very, very strong, very, very strong. Um, obviously, you know, you can fall into Biru when you're trying to make this card, but if you, if you, you know, if you take the risk, you make it, or if you know your opponent's not playing Nibiru or stuff like that, like this card is just crazy. So a lot of deck struggle to out that. And then last but not least, the Halle Fibrax Celine Access Code, uh, combo that you can still play because you're playing Valor in the main deck but uh, nothing really else to say about that you guys it's an OTK machine and that's pretty much it when it comes to this deck very very standard not too many things have changed I think the deck is still very strong very well seated this format and I think you guys will notice that as time goes on like Zoo will probably you know Zoo will find its place whether it's as a side engine whether it's as its, its own deck I wouldn't deny the fact that pure Zoo is still very strong this format and I think you guys should definitely pay attention to it more and uh, you know just be prepared for it because don't be surprised if you're getting swung on by borbo and then they're dropping a zeus because you guys already know uh this deck plays it the best but let me know what you guys think in the comments below i definitely want to continue playing this deck continue you know continue to uh give me advice on how to make this deck better consider joining the discord we can have a lot of chats in there about improving the decks and videos i post here as well as you know just doing some other awesome stuff when we stream and you'll see me playing decks like this and stuff like that over there but let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching